welcome or welcome back to my cozy corner of the internet. Today I'll be taking you through a mini apartment tour since so many people ask questions about my space. Having a space that reflects your personality and that you enjoy being in is so crucial to your mental health. So this here is my front entryway as well as my washer and dryer which is in the front closet. I also have a coffee tea station set up on this piece that I got from Facebook Marketplace. I also have these racks from Ikea with some Nespresso pods in them and also hooks to hang up my mugs. And this here is my kitchen. I love my air fryer. I would be nothing without my air fryer. I also have a dishwasher in this apartment, which is really amazing. It's not something that you get very often in apartments. And my kitchen from the view of my living room. Moving on to my living room space. I have this large bookshelf from Ikea here, which has all of my fantasy books on it, as well as some literary fiction and some romance as well. I have lots of room to grow on the shelf, which I really enjoy. And I have lots of decorations. I have lots of jelly cats and theme decor, as well as like Lego plants and little lights. I have this poof from Boucler, which is a Canadian company. I got these prints from HomeSense. My couches from Ikea, pillows, blankets are all from HomeSense. The rugs also from HomeSense, as well as this fuzzy bench, which I love. Most of the decor that you see in my house is likely HomeSense or winners. I have these shelves from Ikea with um, a Lego Starry Night, The Last of Us print, this is my TV console, I have some books, some decor, my switch, some plushies, my printer on top, and my TV. I have this print from Sam Does Arts, as well as a lamp. And this cozy reading chair is from Ikea as well. So let's do a very fun unboxing. This was a neon sign gifted to me by La Momo. La Momo specializes in neon signs and indoor lighting and designing custom lighting for individuals who value uniqueness and self-expression. Their products are cost-effective, offering not only personalized spaces, but also a great way to express your personality and style through home decor, which as you guys have seen throughout my apartment tour so far, that home decor is really important to me and something that I really try to curate to my personality and my likes. They have free worldwide delivery, handmade signs, low energy use, safety certified, simple automated quote system, which you can design easily using their free templates and online tools for a variety of different uses. You can get neon signs for your business, for outdoors, weddings, for your home, and more. They allowed me to fully customize this neon sign design, which turned out amazing. I'm really impressed with the quality and the attention to detail. This neon sign was the perfect addition to my TBR book card in my home, and it gives such a warm and cozy vibe while I relax and read at my favorite reading spots. So check the link in my description for La Momo. If you use code JM015, you will get 15% off your next order from La Momo on a customized neon sign. Thank you so much again to La Momo for gifting me this beautiful piece and collaborating with me on this video. Okay, so now moving on to my bedroom slash office space. This is kind of an overview of what it looks like. I have a bookshelf in the corner. I have my desk set up, my bed, my closet. So this is my desk setup, which is truly a dream desk setup. I am so fortunate, lucky, thankful to have my desk set up like this. I have these prints on the wall, which are from Amazon. My bed, which if you'll notice, my whole apartment is kind of green, beige, as well as gold mixed in. I have my little nightstand. And this is my second bookshelf, which pretty much has every other kind of book that isn't on my fantasy slash romance bookshelf. This bookshelf has a lot of self-help, anime, mystery, thrillers, and a lot of books from my childhood on it as well. I have another Lego art 
piece on my wall here and panning around, I have two closets which lead into my bathroom. I try to keep like all of my essentials and baskets kind of up top where I can reach everything very easily. And I also have this adorable duck print from Etsy. Now on to the second portion of this video, I'm going to be chatting a little bit about going through changes in life and changes specifically that I'm going through in my life while I read 12 by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is a short novella in the natural series, which I just finished this week and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. If you love Criminal Minds, this is the perfect little YA mystery series to get into. I could not, as soon as I started reading the naturals, I couldn't stop. The first book in the natural series is available on Kindle Unlimited if you guys are interested in checking it out. So there have been a lot of big changes in my life recently that have caused me to take a bit of a break from YouTube. You'll notice I haven't really posted on it a little bit and I will kind of explain what's been going on, talk about, you know, what goes on <laughs> when you go through massive changes in your life and kind of let you know the plan going forward. So firstly, the pain of family members, particularly grandparents getting older, and the need to support them starts to weigh heavy. So you'll see in these clips that I'm not actually at my apartment, but I'm back at my parents' house helping them care for my grandfather after the loss of my grandma. This has been a really big adjustment for my entire family and sleep has been pretty all over the place, which doesn't really help with pre productivity and creativity. So I'm trying to give myself grace and needing a bit of time and a bit of a break from YouTube. I don't have my full setup. I pretty much just have this one chair to read in, which would make really boring videos to just <laughs> film every single video I post on YouTube reading just from this one spot. Um, so it's a lot harder when I'm not in my own space, my own apartment, in my normal routine to still be creative and have YouTube included in my current routine. So the reason I'm able to sort of take this time off to help support my family is because I kind of dropped out of school. The job security and game development industry is really scarce right now and it was a big growing concern as the semester kept going that I wouldn't have a good job market to walk into. I'm going to be 30 years old when I graduate and not having any sense of job security when I graduate from this program was giving me an extreme amount of anxiety and I definitely, because this is my second time going to school, I didn't want to be left feeling like I wasn't going to have a solid job to walk into when I was finished. I was also finding the workload to be extremely stressful and overwhelming and I wasn't really enjoying anything that I was doing anymore. I was starting to cultivate a very negative relationship with my art and I really dreaded working on school assignments and procrastinating on them which for anyone that really knows me knows that's really unlike me I really enjoy school I like throwing myself into the work I like the routine of it and I definitely did not feel like myself I decided to reach out to an academic advisor for assistance on potential other programs that I could possibly transfer into for the January semester and I was recommended interactive media design so I still get to be creative but it also opens up a much wider job market for me with much more opportunities and I don't have to feel so burnt out illustrating and doing my art. I can start to reconnect and foster a healthy relationship with my art practices again by going through with this program so the design aspect of it still lets me be very creative, allows me to use the problem solving and all the things that I really enjoy about being in a creative career, but it's not necessarily forcing me to do art and illustration and to do certain things like 3D and animation, which I didn't particularly love about my other, my other program. Change is natural, necessary, and an inevitable part of life, but it also brings along a lot of feelings that can be pretty scary. Letting go is a lot of hard work. It requires a great deal of mental and emotional energy. One of the best things about change is that it gives us the opportunity to get rid of what no longer serves us in our life to make room for the things that do serve us and do make us happy and do increase and better the quality of our lives. So ways in which that we can navigate life changes. These are things that I've been trying to work on. Um, over the last little bit since I have been going through such massive changes in my life. Uh, we need to acknowledge our feelings and experience all the highs and lows of emotions that come along with change. 
We also need to practice self-care to foster resilience and navigate the stress of change and be able to seek support from trusted individuals in your life. You also have to be able to adjust your expectations and cultivate a growth mindset. So while I have withdrawn from game design for the time being, I am stepping into a new chapter in January, which means that I get a bit of a break from now until I start school in January then to focus on myself and my family. So I'll be taking a few weeks off from YouTube to process and realign myself, and then I'll be back in the new year with more bookish school lifestyle content. I'm really looking forward to my return and to getting back into a good routine and just spending this time to give myself some grace and give myself a break and I really appreciate everybody's support throughout my journey. I know it's really hard to be consistent on social media, but I appreciate everybody's support nonetheless. The comments people have been leaving on my YouTube videos have filled me with so much love and joy, and it really means a lot to know that the effort and the work and the, you know, creativity that I put into all of these videos is something that people really enjoy. So I appreciate it so much. I will be back soon. Love yourselves, take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you soon.